What's the deal, man? It's Boyd McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Back again another video, man. And uh, my eyes look a little watery. I just put some clear eyes in. Excuse me. Shout out to everybody supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Like, comment, subscribe. Please do all that good stuff, man. Comment helps a lot, too. Ask me any questions you need to talk about, what we want to talk about. Also, um, follow me on all my links, man. All my social media links. Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, all that. I'm trying to get better at posting on all that stuff. I'm just not getting used to posting on YouTube consistently. I always had a bad YouTube post uh, schedule. But all, anyways, we're going to make it. We're going to keep on working. And we're here. You know what I'm saying? We're a team. All right. Now, today's video is going to be about the uh, Super Bowl. Yeah, they fooled y'all. They had y'all thinking it was about to be the Baltimore Ravens in San Francisco. I seen y'all posting online. Oh, man, the NFL rig. NFL rig. It's going to be Baltimore and San Francisco. Y'all think they about a little brother look, that looked like me in the Super Bowl? Nah. They let Cam Newton in that Super Bowl. He looked like, but here's the thing with Cam. Cam Newton is sellout. They love when black men dress crazy and if Cam Newton didn't dress the way he was, and that boy from Atlanta, ain't he from like Atlanta? Well, that, that makes even worse. That makes more sense. Y'all boys from Atlanta, y'all think y'all are not country. Y'all already, let me tell you Atlanta, y'all country hillbillies like me in North Carolina. Y'all country hillbillies too, all right? You got a chance of dating your cousin too, all right? I don't know why y'all be trying to think. I met a dude the other day, he from Atlanta. I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. Boy, you is not from the city. You are a hillbilly. You are a redneck, sir. Y'all be in this country in Atlanta. Y'all be around buildings. Y'all think y'all city people. No, if you're in the South, you one of us. You know what I'm saying? You 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 a Southerner. I don't know why y'all think y'all. Anyways, people in Atlanta do dress weird. Cam Newton dresses weird, and they put him in that Super Bowl because Cam Newton, he followed. He he's one of them tap dancing people. He still be tap dancing. Still be tap dancing. Even with his podcast. Still tap dancing. You know what I'm saying? And he was one of them, was one of my favorite quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? You see, he never gave it to Michael Vick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, they want my little Lamar Jackson in those Supers. Lamar Jackson never going to see a Super Bowl his career. Who want to bet on that? Who want to bet? He's never going to see a Super Bowl because he's too daggone dark skin. Patrick Mahomes? Oh, they love him. He's one of, he's one of, the, he's one of the boys that's in the house. They love Patrick Mahomes. They love Barack Obama. They love when you're mixed. They can't stand you got that wide nose. Look at this wide nose. Look at this. Look at that nose. They can't stand them, them juicy big lips. They can't stand all. They can't stand none of that. Oh, you oh you got big lips? Wide nose? No. No Super Bowl. It was not about little Lamar Jackson in that Super Bowl. Yeah. NFL is scripted, rigged. It's one big TV show. One big TV show. They probably changed the script last minute. Cause they they seen the TikToks. And the YouTube's going viral. Everybody said, oh, man. And y'all, stop believing what y'all believe on the internet. So they, so there's this image going around of the news saying, February such and such, San Francisco and Baltimore. Y'all, people can edit videos and images, bro. Then they somebody showed a, a picture, a video of San Francisco and Baltimore with a bunch of cakes in a Walmart at a Super Bowl. Y'all, they can, they can edit. There's editing out there, man. There's editing out there. There's really, there's AI, great editing. Y'all stop hopping off the field. And then I'm pretty sure the NFL seen that. And they're like, oh, y'all think it's about to be that? Nah, we, we, it's going to be that. You know what I'm saying? And then Taylor Swift dating Taylor Swift dating Travis Kelsey. What's up to Travis Kelsey do, man? Hey, so you see how he did y'all, right? He went back to the white girls. Told y'all, man, the white boys going to get tired of dating you black women. They're going to get tired of that. The white boys going to go right back to the white girls. They're going to date y'all. Be like, yo, this is what it is. They not ready for this war, man. I, I date black women full time. They not ready for the junk talk. The the it's almost like man, they they not ready for that man. Then white boys got a rude awakening. They be dating the black girls right now. Then I bet you they waking up like man, I'm going to go back to my kind. Yep, you ain't ready for this smoke, man. You're not ready for them black women, man. They they you not about that life. You gotta be all man to do the black lady. You gotta be all man, and you gotta have thick skin. You gotta have thick skin. And you gotta be able to move on quick, move on quick. You, 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 you this is how. Once y'all master this look, you will win. Cause this, as soon as a black lady say something to me, I just give that look. You see the news? I change the subject. <coughs> <coughs> Don't entertain that BS. But Travis Kelsey was dating a black girl. Now he with Taylor Swift, and Taylor Swift 
is a plant. I, nobody can name a Taylor Swift song. I don't know why she's so famous, but look, y'all, Taylor Swift is the ideal white girl. Pointing up, y'all, that's the white girl knows. The point, Taylor Swift is the generic American middle, generic middle aged white, not middle aged, generic American white girl. That is Taylor Swift. Every white girl, not every one of them, but that's who they shoot to be. That's the image they want to put out. She represents that all around the world as all the white girls, England, South, everywhere. We didn't know where there's a white woman. Taylor Swift embodies that, you know what I'm saying, for the white ladies. You know, so Patrick Mahomes, that's the reason why the Chiefs got picked. Patrick Mahomes, houseboy. They love when they mix breed. That's why we got Barack Obama. And we never gonna get a we never gonna get a full black president. Barack Obama was a multiracial president, our first multiracial president. He was not our first black president. They do that with black people, man. And that's how much, once you get black in you, they hate black so much that if you get a drop of black in you, they no longer call you white. They're like, oh, you're not one of us, bro. you one of them. As soon as you get a little bit of drop of black, that's how much they hate black people. That's how much they hate it. Barack Obama was not our first black president, man. If you are multiracial, right? If you are mixed, you only claim black because you look more black, and that is just a sign. Sir, claim your white side, too. I'm tired of you half black, half white people, half Spanish, half black, want to claim you're black because your hair nappy and our jeans are strong. Claim your other side because nobody want to be us, but y'all want to be us. But when it's time for something to hit the fan, you don't want to be us. I don't get it. Man, there was a dude in, when I was in the military, man. And he, I'm Native American. I'm Native American. No, I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I can say the N-word. I'm black. Then one day in formation, he said, if anybody's Native American, step out. He going to step right out. I said, what are you, man? Are you black or Native American? You know what I'm saying? And then I, I, I know these people, they, they from they from the DR. They Dominican. They Dominican. We Dominican Republic. We Dominican Republic. We Dominican. We Dominican. Soon as I say, oh, y'all ain't black people, oh, they get mad at me. I like y'all. Y'all, I see Dominican flags here. You know what I'm saying? So all I see is the, nobody want to claim black. Nobody want to claim black except when it's cool. I claim black every day. I am 100% N word. You know what I'm saying? But Patrick Mahomes. Got the point nose, green eyes, the nice fair skin. Y'all, with black athleticism, they love it. They will love it. That's why all you black dudes out here making babies with these white girls, y'all just y'all just soft. That's all that is. Y'all got out the fight. Y'all got out the fight. Y'all start thinking like Travis Kelsey. Y'all like, you know what? I'm going to get me a white girl, man. Y'all got out the fight, man. Stop with the fight. It's okay, man. Yeah, y'all telling you I can write a book on how to handle black ladies, man. It's easy. Just stop being soft. Y'all be soft. Y'all want to get them white girls because it's soft. Y'all want to go over there and be soft. Stop, man. You know what I'm saying? So, Pat Mahomes, mixed breed. That's why they got him there. Lamar Jackson, wide nose. That's why they got him there. Say, I want Detroit Lions and San Francisco to win, but nobody want to see the De on Detroit Lions in the Super Bowl. That was going to be a low rate in Super Bowl. Only Detroit got the, the, the highest fan base I've ever seen. Think about it. If I anytime I see somebody with Detroit clothes on a Detroit Lions jacket or a hoodie or anything like that, I automatically know where they're from. You from Detroit. There is no such thing of an out-of-state Detroit Lions fan. Like out here in North Carolina, the Panthers came in 95. So everybody's divided. We have Pittsburgh fans, Cowboys fans, Redskins fans. There are no Detroit Lions fans. None whatsoever. There's no Detroit Lions fans. None. It's only like I never seen a Detroit Lions fan out here. Only in Detroit. So that's gonna be a low rating Super Bowl. That's why they didn't get picked. That's why they didn't get picked, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh yeah, this is gonna be I, who I got winning the Super Bowl. I got the script, the script favors the Chiefs the most. The script. Travis Kelsey and all the commercials. You know what I'm saying? He 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 left the black girl, he left that black woman for a money move. He he stayed. Here's what he did. He dated a black woman to get y'all on his side to get black people liking him. Oh, he like black girls. Woohoo! He's cool. Now look, he back to the white girl, and he with Taylor Swift. Everybody loves Taylor Swift. She is the ideal white girl for America. The generic white girl. He back with Taylor Swift. Patrick Mahomes, mixed breed. The Chiefs sound better than the San Francisco 49ers winning. 
Who on the 49ers we know? I want Christian McCaffrey to win, to get a ring. I like Christian McCaffrey, little white, little white dude, you know what I'm saying? Um, we, don't, we ain't never seen a white boy run like that, never. You know what I'm saying? Um... I, I don't know who else, but I think it favors the Chiefs more. The Chiefs are the favorite in this. You got, you got, got all the racist stuff on there. The, the NFL is, a, and people want to watch this blog, like, oh, Dwayne, why are you being so racist? The NFL is the most racist sport of all time. All the owners are white. There's not one minority owner. Google it. I want everybody to Google it. Shake my hand. Say, hey, hey bet, bet money. My, my nails ain't dirty. No, my, bet money. Bet money, I bet you you will not find a black owner in the NFL nowhere. There's not even an Asian. There ain't no Asian NFL owners. The, and the NBA only got, and it's the same with the NBA. And them billionaires, whoever runs that NFL circle, they are a tight group. They only let a certain amount of people in. A certain amount. They're not about to let everybody in. So the NFL, and then look, quarterbacks, all white. Coaches, all white. NFL is one of the most racist sports of all time off the the, the 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 blood and backs of black people all, all the sports really most of them most of them and guess what they trying to weasel us out weasel us out they that why you think and they love the fact that white boys is finally catching up genetically white boys is now dunking i'm talking about coming down to the court and yamming we never seen that. Growing up, there was never a white boy that can come out of the court from one end of the court to the other end and yam. There was only a few white boys. I think I never. I think I didn't see my first white boy dunk until I was a grown. I was a grown man. But what I'm saying is, it's more. I ain't saying it never happened. There were white boys who could jump back in the day. But I'm saying it's more. Y'all caught up genetically, genetically, technology, training, skill wise. Y'all can get cuts and muscles now, and there's so much technology now that they can slowly weasel us out. There's going to be more white running backs, more white wide receivers, and they're going to, they're going to be white coaches, white owners, going to be a white NFL. And guess what? When the NFL go full white, it's going to blow up. America would love to see a full white NFL. Think about it. We got 10 years of Tom Brady because Tom Brady looked like your ideal white dude. He like your generic ideal white dude. We never got nobody else. Um, who else? Who else? Who else was like on a run? Big Ben. Big time. He like a generic white dude driving the truck. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady, generic white dude. Troy Aitman, generic white. They, 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 NFL loves when you got that white boy collar look. That's what the NFL is, man. That's all it is. It's big and racist. You know what I'm saying? Rigged like I don't know what. I can't wait. I don't know who performed at the Super Bowl this year. Uh, that's more content for me to break down because I already know they're going to do some Illuminati stuff in the Super Bowl. They do it every year in Super Bowl. Every year in the Super Bowl, halftime show is Illuminati show. One big, gigantic Illuminati show. I'm tired of watching. I'm tired of these people, man. I'm tired of them, man. I'm tired of these cult people, man. I'm tired of them, bro. Like, I really, they do this every year, but I'm tired of them, bro. And the regular person just does not care, bro. I'm tired of them. But anyways, let me know what y'all think, man. Was I wrong in this blog? Let me know what y'all think. Uh, did I miss a mark anywhere? Let me know, man. It's a Buddha McLean. McLean TV, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button. I'm out.